What's up everybody, this is Antonio, here to bring you another episode in the series of how many shares of a certain company do you need to make $1,000 a month, $100 a month, and even $100 a week. So in these videos, we do pull up the companies you guys uh, do want me to cover. Uh, we'll pull up uh, Seeking Alpha, look at the actual company itself, look at the company profile, pull up the dividend uh, scorecard, look at the dividend uh, summary, and then pull up the calculator, crunch some numbers, and then uh, we wrap it up with the dividend yield uh, telling us when the best opportunity was to uh, purchase the stock or currently is. Uh, but uh, in this video guys we will be going over FTS which is the next one on the list uh, this is the list that you guys have provided so if there's a company uh, I haven't covered in the past or you don't see it on the list let me know I'll be happy to add it we'll eventually get to it but uh, let's go ahead and get started guys so I do have Seeking Alpha here we have FTS uh, Ford is Inc uh, currently trading about $43.89 and then uh, if we actually pull up uh, the company profile, we can read a little bit about them. And uh, you'll see that Fortress uh, Inc. operates as an electric and gas utility company in Canada, the United States, and the Caribbean countries. It generates and transmits generates, transmits, and distributes electricity to approximately 443,000 retail customers in the southeastern Arizona and 102,000 retail customers in the Arizona Bojav and Santa Cruz countries with an aggregate capacity of 3,328 uh, megawatts, including 68 uh, megawatts of solar capacity and 250 MV of wind capacity. The company also sells wholesale electricity to other entities in the western United States, owns gas-fired and hydroelectric generating capacity totaling 65 megawatts and distributes natural gas to approximately 1,076,000 residential and uh, yeah guys so they are in the utility sector industry electric utilities employees are around 9242 they were founded in 19 or 1885 quite a long time ago and then uh, you could go to fortressinc.com if you want to look at uh, the company itself but uh, if we pull up here guys uh, you'll see that uh, if we look at the year to date uh, they are actually up by 8.37% in the green. If we look at the one year, they're actually down 11.23% on the five year. Uh, they are actually up by 31.76% in the green. On the 10 year, uh, they are actually not showing because it seems like it only goes as far as 2016. But uh, if we look at the 52 week range here, guys, you'll see that uh, the 52 week low has been $34.76. Uh, 52 week high has been $50.89. So it's trading right around the middle, closer to the higher uh, 52 week range. If we look at the EPS, it's at 2.19, PE 20.04, uh, dividend rate is $1.67, uh, yield is 3.8. 1% uh, market cap is a 21.25 billion market cap for uh, this company uh, if I actually pull up here guys the dividend scorecard we can uh, look at the dividend summary here again they are in the utility sector uh, dividend yield is a 3.81% uh, which is actually a pretty healthy dividend uh, yield there I typically like between 1 to 4% dividend yield with a 5% 5% or well, I guess a double digit five year Kager uh, annual payout here is a 1.67 or well, I guess a dollar and 67 cents annually is what you'd get paid if you own one share of this uh, payout is 76.06% and then five year Kager is a 5.41% so that's typically uh, how much they raise their dividend every year in the past five years uh, so dividend growth is seven years and then uh, they do pay out quarterly and uh, they pay out 42 cents every single quarter uh, let's go ahead and pull up the calculator guys and uh, we can start finally crunching some numbers so uh, first thing we want to find out is how much of this company would you have to own to uh, make one thousand dollars a month 
So we want to make $1,000 a month. Uh, there's 12 months in a year, so you multiply that. So annually, we do need to make $12,000. Uh, so if we take these $12,000 and divide it by the annual payout, which is $1.67, uh, you would actually get the total number of shares that you'd need to own. So roughly, we would have to own about uh, 7,185 five shares. Uh, if you multiply this times the actual current share price, which is $43.89, you would actually uh, get the total amount of money you'd have to have invested. So we would have to have about invested $300 and uh, $15,377 uh, and then you'd be roughly making about $1,000 a month in this utility company. Uh, if we actually want to find this a quicker way, you can take the $12,000 you make annually, divide it by the dividend yield and you'll get a rough estimate, so 0.0381. You'll see we get rough around uh, $314,000, almost $315,000 there, so that is a quick way to do that. Let's go ahead and see how much you'd have to own to make $100 every single month. I think this one's a little bit more achievable. You could actually take the previous answer and divide it by 10, but since we do have the calculator, we will crunch those numbers. So we wanna make $100. Uh, there's 12 months in a year again. So 1,200 is what we need to make annually. Uh, divide this by uh, the annual payout, which is $1.67. Uh, You'll see we get about 718 shares is what we would have to own to uh, achieve this then you can actually multiply that times the current share price which is $43.89 and uh, you'll see we roughly have to have about $31,537 invested in this company and you'd be roughly making $100 every single month a uh, quick way to calculate this again is take the 1200 divided by the uh, dividend yield which is 381 and uh, you'll see we roughly get about $31,496 uh, so that is the quick way to do that uh, let's go ahead and do the last one which is how much of this company would you have to have invested uh, to make $100 every single week I think this one would be very cool because imagine $100 you have and if you're retired then you're just getting about $100 every week that would be pretty sweet so we want to make $100. There's actually 52 weeks in a year. So you multiply it times uh, 52. And then uh, you roughly get about 5,200. That's what you'd have to make annually to achieve this. And then uh, divided by the annual payout, which uh, is $1.67. And then uh, this would give you the total number of shares you'd have to have invested, which is 3,113 uh, shares. You can actually multiply this times the current share price and then uh, this would give you the total amount invested. So about $136,663 uh, invested in this uh, to achieve about $100 every single week. So if we want to calculate this uh, quickly without uh, all the other math, you could take the 5200 annually divided by the dividend yield again and you'd roughly get about a rough estimate uh, which seems like 81 there and you see we would get about 136,482 uh, dollars invested in this and you'd be roughly making about uh, 100 dollars every single week uh, but those are the calculations guys let's go ahead and jump over to the dividend yield to uh, wrap up this video all right guys so we're here at the dividend yield for uh fts which is uh this is the dividend yield you'll see it will fluctuate around uh depending on the time this is showing the five years so if we look it goes all the way to 2018 which was around a dividend yield starting of about four percent uh, and then 2019 it started actually going down and that's potentially because the share price could have gone up uh, you'll see here in 2020 the march crash it spiked up all the way to a 4.79 uh, percent dividend yield and then uh, you'll see it's been trading around three percent three and a half and uh all 2022 three and then recently in october of 2022 it's spiked up all the way to about 4.5 4.6 again and it's been slowly going down now uh, so this is the dividend yield for fts 
let me know in the comment section if you guys are invested in this company definitely would love to hear it uh, don't forget to subscribe with that notification definitely help out the channel especially by uh, dropping a big thumbs up on the video it definitely goes a long way that way youtube does promote my videos definitely would appreciate it uh, and uh, let me know any companies you guys do want me to cover in the future definitely would add those to the list just let me know in the comment section i will talk to you guys later take care stay safe out there bye guys